how big that face is. Hey. He's mad. Usually Western hognose is lay on their backs to present their bellies to their prey and have their mouth open with their tongue hanging. You like my it's um, a defensive yeah. thing when they think they will be eaten by another animal and they become a prey item. He's just, uh, he gets very grumpy when you leave him on the, f you know, when, when you're not, when he's not in your hand. When you pick him up, though, he's fine. Look how he goes side. He's very fast. Yes, he did that. Yeah, he's, uh, oh, boy. it's all right. Just yeah. So you watch. He's fine now that he's, now that he's in my hand. He's, he's a good, he's a good boy. Yeah. Well, when I put him down, and I don't have nowhere, yeah. and I'm nowhere near him. Okay, now watch, he's gonna get pissy. He's little. He's hey. a little boy. Hey. Oh, yeah. Can't figure out why he is. He can just blow him. Oh yeah, for anybody who wants to know. This is a Western Hog Nose, the Endiconda Morph. And we purchased him at New England Reptile Distributors. I don't know if he's one of Kevin's breeds or not, but. Thank you for not going in the hole. But we did get him from Nerds. We drove down from where we live in Maine and all right, all to Plastow, New Hampshire. We try to get most of our animals from nerds. You're the only snake that doesn't try Because uh, he's basically the only guy we trust. I mean, there's a lot of reputable breeders out there, you know. I mean, he strikes at you and stuff, but he won't. He doesn't bite. He doesn't. He doesn't strike with his mouth open. With us, is it with somebody you know? else? He might. Uh -huh. He's a very good boy. I mean, I this guy is. He's almost a year. Well, actually, he probably is yeah, almost a year old, just, huh? We, his, we got him January third. He was born in December. Yeah, he was born in seventeen. Yeah, because we've had him almost just, a year, be a year of January. Yeah, we got him when he was about a month old. Yeah, this is Mama's first snake. You didn't fit in my hand. Yeah, he's a good boy. I wish I could find the skull that he used to fit in. <sighs> He's a very, very amazing little guy. Mmm, he's pretty belly. But anyways, like I was saying, there is a lot of good breeders out there. Like, uh, Peter Kale, Bob Clark, you know, the guys from Mr. Year. The guys who started off, well, started me off when I started doing this back in the 80s. You know, those guys were around then breeding the most amazing animals. Bob Clark was the first guy that that had the albino boas. I remember his boa list. I mean, people were on a waiting list for four years for a $10,000 baby. $10,000 for a hatchling. Well, for a live young, you know, boas have live, no, no eggs. I guess you can still consider them hatchlings. But anyways, yeah, there is a lot of reputable breeders out there, but we just prefer to go to Kevin. You know, we know him, we trust him. BHB Reptiles, another very reputable breeder. Kev um, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Brian Barczyk. He is so good with his animals. We should actually get something from him. And we should definitely get something from Jay from Prehistoric Pets. I mean, all three of those guys, Kevin, Brian, and Jay, are probably my favorite breeders. Well, of course, Peter Kale and Bob Clark, too. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Mm -hmm. Mama, calm down. But, yeah, this is Mama. Mama, she owns this snake. And I know she shouldn't be smoking while handling, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
But yeah, alright, anyways, this is it. I'm done with this video.